What is up, my new Vim friends? Today, I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit about the quick fix list. I'm gonna talk through exactly what it is, the commands that interact with it, and how to edit and get information out of the list. More so like an intro and getting started. And then I'll go into some advanced plugins and some cool things that you can hopefully bring into your workflow. If this is your first time on the channel, then welcome. And I hope to see you hit that subscribe button and if you like NeoVim content, there's plenty to go around here, so check it out. To get started here, what the heck is the quick fix list? So I'm sure if you spend any time in the Vim community or messing around with Vim, you've heard about this ominous quick fix list. Essentially, this is a special mode inside of Vim to help speed up whenever you're editing and then you need to compile and then you need to go back and fix something. It's inspired from the Manx's Aztec C compiler, which is, this is all from the documentation here. If you do an H quick fix, generally the idea is to save error messages so you can jump back to them and you don't have to remember all them, which is pretty handy. We want our editor to be as useful as possible so we don't have to remember all the different things that we're trying to work through. So this is something that can speed up your workflow and make things a lot easier. There's also another concept called the location list. And I plan on making another video of that in the future, so be on the lookout for that one. The quick fix list is something that's very flexible and many plugins and commands use it. But the default one to get started with is going to be Vim rep. And you can actually shorten this up to just be Vim. And this will take the command and then a pattern. So something like solutions to match on this. I don't believe you need the slash, so you can just type solutions. But if you need to do any advanced finding or grepping, then you might want to use that regex. So we'll bring that back here and we'll do solutions, close that. And then this is where you need to specify the pattern or the file. If you want to do this star, then it'll find your search term in the files and directories of your current working directory. Otherwise, if you do a specific folder or some other file, then it'll find just inside of that. If we wanted to do all the files and directories and then also the subdirectories of those, which is a recursive search, we would do star star and that would find everything. But for us, that's going to actually search our node modules, which is going to be a lot of extra files to search through, which I don't really want to do. Instead, I want to search only in our source directory. So I can do source and star star and then I'll search everything only inside of the source directory and ignore that node modules so that we constrain our search just to this folder. We hit enter, then we see in the bottom left that we have one out of three, and this will navigate to the first option in the quick fix list or the first error. So we see this first one out of three and the match on it. And then if we do a C open, we can see all the items in our list. And if we go down either by J or K, then we can hit enter and it dumps us to this next match. And we can go back down into the quick fix list and hit enter and jump around that way. Another way we can do is C first to go to the first one, which will jump back up here or C last to go to the last one. Or if we want to go up and down without leaving our window here, we can do C previous and abbreviate that to C prev and that will go back up here. We can do it again and do this way. I actually have a keyboard shortcut that I'll show you here that matches to either going up or down in the quick fix list or the location list. It's really handy so that I don't have to type in those commands and I can do a quick keyboard shortcut. For me, leader H is gonna take me to the next one and leader semicolon is gonna take me to the previous one. And you can see I can jump back and forth between them and search the list really quickly. If we wanted to jump to a specific item, we can do CC and three, and that will jump all the way to the bottom one or the third one in the list here. And once we're done with the list, we can do CCL or CC close. Uh, it's abbreviated, so you can do that, and it'll close the list. Now, there's two different commands that you can use by default to grep in Vim, and that's the one we just talked about, which is Vim grep, which you can abbreviate to just Vim, and the other one, which is grep, which is the external command on your system, and there's a little bit of difference in that it's internal with Vim grep versus external with the other one. Grep, you'll have to remember how to do a recursive search, which uses a dash big R. So take note whenever you're using one or the other, which one you're actually using and remember that syntax. In my opinion, Vim grep is a little bit easier to remember and gets you there faster, but sometimes it can take a little bit longer than an external tool. One of the plugins that I really like to use is called Vim unimpaired. And I'll show you that a little bit more at the end of the video, but there's a couple of nice keyboard shortcuts that that gives you where you can also jump to the previous and next entries in the quick fix list. And you can jump to the previous entry by using a closed bracket and Q. And you can see we're jumping up one 
And then if we did a open bracket in Q, then it jumps to the next one. So some easy shortcuts to be able to jump between those really quickly if you didn't want to add your own custom key map. One of the things you might be wondering is how do I open older quick fix lists or newer ones if I need to jump between them? Well, if you open up, see open here, and then you can do C older to jump to an older quick fix list. And you can see at the very bottom, it will open the, the older list. And if I wanted to do back to the newest one, then I can do C newer. This will store up to 10 quick fix lists. That way, if you have a bunch of different commands that you're running or need to do different searches, you can always go back and forth and revisit these lists. At this point, we now understand how to open the quick fix list, how to jump between items in it and jump to the locations where these items are found. But what now? What do we do? How do we edit the file and go into everything so that we don't have to do it one by one? Well, it should be no surprise that there's yet another colon C command that we can do. And if you haven't picked up that pattern, everything starts with the colon C with all these different quick fix commands. The command I'm going to show you now is called C do. And this one is going to run a command for each of the entries inside of the quick fix list. So this can let you run any kind of command of your choice. And it's a really powerful and essentially provides the basis for being able to search for something project wide and replace it in Vim. An example of running a command would be to do a search and replace. And so if we did S and we did solutions and then we want to replace it with Bob as just a, a different example here, then we can do that and pipe it with update. And that will actually run through each entry in the quick fix list, run the substitution, and then update it. The update part causes the buffer to be written so that each modification is done and you don't have to go into each of those files and write. Let's execute this command. Now we can see that all of our solutions are now updated to Bob. If we wanted to close all those files, which for us is just one file here, we can do the C do command, which would do each individual entry. But we have a problem here because it's going to run close on each of these. An alternative is to do the CF do, and this will run with each file in the quick fix list. So if you wanted to do only one command for that substitute and replace, you could also do CF do. For us, we want to do a BD to close our buffer, and we can do that by running that command and all of our buffers are now closed. We just have the quick fix list here that is showing. Now, let's say I wanted to save this quick fix list for later. I can actually write this out. And so if I do a W and my results dot TXT, then I can write out those results and I can take a look that that is actually present. And you can see here, whenever I open up that file that I have all those results ready to go and I can go back and review this list and make sure I didn't miss anything. Like I mentioned earlier, in doing some research for this video, there's all kinds of different plugins that make use of the quick fix list and make things better for you when editing it or making modifications within it. I plan to do some future videos on this, but I wanted to show at least some of these so that you can play around with them and check them out yourself. The first one that I use myself is called Vim Unimpaired, and this one gives you these different bracket key maps so that you can jump between C next and C previous. There's all kinds of other ones that are built in here, and this has a lot of nice keyboard shortcuts so that you don't have to add all your own. It kind of gives you a nice base level foundation for good keyboard mappings. I haven't checked this one out yet, but this one is called Vim QF, and this one gives you additional key maps so that you can manipulate things and do a lot of different settings and commands. Something to check out as I think an alternative to Vim Unimpaired, a really cool thing to make your quick fix list behave a little bit more sanely. If you want a better look and feel for the quick fix list, then this one in Vim BQF is something that, again, I haven't checked out exactly, but I plan to do a longer video on making the quick fix list adaptable and maybe a little different. So check this one out if you want to beautify your quick fix list. And then the last one that I want to talk about is this quick fix reflector. And this one actually makes the quick fix list modifiable. And so if you we're back in your editor and you wanted to open this up. And if I wanted to make any modifications here, I get this thing at the bottom that says, can I make changes modifiable as off? And so what this plugin does is it changes that to make it modifiable and let you modify things in line. So you don't have to do CF do or C do commands. You can modify things in the quick fix buffer and basically turns it into a real buffer so that 
you can make those modifications and write them right away. You can even delete things, which I thought was pretty cool. So this is something I'll check out in a future video. If you like this content, definitely give it a like and subscribe. And if you made it this far in the video, give me a CF do in the comments below and let me know that you like the content. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.